What is good, YouTube? I'm starting a new series for my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and get in the comment section and vibe with me. We got Franklin Barnes right here, and we got to get straight into the case. It's one of these controversy cases where I want you guys to get in the comment section and interact with me and give me your opinion. I'm going to stop the video at certain points just to, you know, uh, give some of my points on. But other than that, I want to keep it uh, keep it rolling. So let's get straight into the video. Are you familiar with how this works? It flips right on. John, do you want to run it down? Right. No? Yeah, I didn't mean to just let that right there. How are they taking care of you here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, you know all the charges, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I have like four charges. Right. It could be more. I just want to, you know, pick your brain. What, what, what happened? What, what can you tell me? I mean, um, they, were, they don't really want me to speak on the case. They just want me to uh, say what I did on Thursday morning. And I mean, to be honest, right there, if you ever caught in his situation, that's the best type of advice the lawyer could have gave him because they can't use nothing really against him. So, in my opinion, with him saying that, he's just going to give a rip run of what he did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the guy's going to question him. And you can tell just how that guy sounds. You you can tell in, from his vibe already that he's going to be a little standoffish. And, like, he's not for him. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's working with the people. You can tell that already just by the type of – just I just get that vibe from his voice. You know, just strict dickhead Republican – you know, uppity, working with the police. You know what I'm saying? That's that's 100 right there. Let's get back into the video. I was I was out with my girl. We got um, smoking, smiling. I was just chilling with her before she went to school. And, and she was Thursday morning. Yeah. And, um, cause I don't usually see her quite often. I was just chilling with her before she went to school. And, um, and when I, by the time I got back home, a couple of hours, I was uh for a little bit and next thing I know I'm in jail. So what time are we talking here? Um, I left out the house probably about four or five a.m. Going towards her. She stayed like an hour away. And well you're up in the county, right? Yeah. And where does she look? She lives in Fort Worth. Okay. But she's right. Now I'm not too sure about the geographical distance and what that's saying because I'm not a resident of Texas. But from what I'm getting from what he's saying here, it's like, yeah, we did this before school, da-da-da, we linked up. Maybe he was out of school and she was in school. Uh, that the case might be, you know what I'm saying? Now, if he's out of school, now that may, it, it could be vice versa because she has a little free time. And it could have had linked and smoked and did all that before school. And he could have, you know, did what he said he did, you know, well, what he's about to say he did. But I just find it hard to believe. I'm not. She got to be on some Kim Kardashian, some Nicki Minaj. She got to have the wettest pussy ever for me to get up at 4 in the morning to hit her. That's just on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got to have her head game got to be stupendous for me to get up at 4 a.m. That's tough. I don't know if I'm getting up that early. I don't care who the fuck she is. My, I need my sleep. She can wait. Uh, that's, that's tough. Uh, that's really tough right there. They were meeting me, so I didn't have to Back to the video, though. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was just, she was just with me for a little bit. We smoked, and after um, she left. Where did y'all meet? We met, like, closer to Fort Worth. Like Arlington? Uh, around right the area, somewhere around. Right we just, um, when she hopped in my car, and we were, we were just like. I ain't trying to make my man sound guilty or nothing, but. Look at the answers, like, it's just like, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, like, he don't look like he lying, like, he giving you a straight face, like, look at him right there, like, he do look janky, though, like, I wouldn't trust this nigga for shit, like, if I gave him something, like, I probably wouldn't get it back, and that's just me just judging by his character, but that's sick, but <laughs> I wouldn't trust a nigga for nothing, but 
like even with his answers, you know what I'm saying? He's not trying to give them too much. He's trying to just say enough but not give too much. You feel what I'm saying? So like I will say like for a nigga for him like to not have a record, like he handled himself very composed in this whole interview process. So that's another point in his direction. You know what I'm saying? Like the way he conducted himself. I mean, just with the interviewer not on his side and then the composure he has is, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I feel like he's been in a jam before and like he ain't a rookie. You feel what I'm saying? Like he's not, like he not talking too much, but he's saying just enough. You feel what I'm saying? All right, let's get back to it. So um, I'm not even, I'm not even, you know, I can't say I'm not worried. I'm worried. What are you worried about? You know, uh, my mama said I might get the death penalty. My mama said to me. So I told her, you know, keep your head up. If that's what, if that's what they want to do. And, you know, y'all, um, y'all, you know, remain strong and keep y'all facing the Bible. You did. What do you, what, I mean, how did you get to Arlington? Hey, but his mom's speaking some real ass shit, though, for real. Like, keeping a buck with you. She's, you know what I'm saying? She's trying to keep him, keep his head up, and then, like, don't let the system fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the same time, you gotta still try to fight your way out of it. You know what I'm saying? Most people just give up. All oh, my life's over. Nah, those are the ones that be in there, stuck in that motherfucker. But you gotta fight for your freedom at the same time. And you got to find a loophole. Because every case, I'm not going to say every case is, but if you really go through the paperwork and do your research and you do it diligently, it's loopholes in every case and every situation. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it is. And that's the fact. And that's fact. So she did give him some real advice. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm in that, if I'm in that situation, shit, I ain't even trying to hear that shit. Mom, dude, come get me out. What is the bell? Come get me. Put up the house. Put that car up. <laughs> nah, let me stop, yo. I got it. Was your girlfriend with you when you went? You see that slick shit right there? Like, that's that shit I don't like. Like, you could tell he being sarcastic with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? But he couldn't. He Look, he kept his composure. That's, that's 100. He kept his composure. But that's that slick shit I'm talking about right there. That Republican... Racist shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna say racist shit, you know what I'm saying? Because it is some white people on my channel, and I'm not racist at all, you know what I'm saying? My mom's white. Hey, it is what it is, but you can just tell, like, he got that that vibe with him, you know what I'm saying? I just call it a vibe because I don't want to really, you know, I don't want to call nobody racist, you know what I'm saying? But you could tell, like, he wants him to be guilty, he thinks he's guilty, he's working with the whole department to convict him, you know what I'm saying? You could tell. He's a writer that already in his mind prejudice. He's he's guilty. I'm going to see uh, your friends. Yeah, we we fucked with the weed man. And she was um she was cool. He was cool. You bought weed from uh, Joshua Clawson. Somebody. Yeah. 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 Number. I had the number. Somebody's number I had stayed out there. You never met. Him. And that's one hundred, bro. Like. You never know what the real wee man name is. You know what I'm saying? Nigga might mean, hey, my name Ghost. Hey, my name Killer. My name D. My name CP. My name A. You know what I'm saying? Niggas give you jinky ass names. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want you to know the government. You know what I'm saying? That's some real nigga shit. Just in case they get bagged of it. Or even if he moving something else. Because, you know, niggas that sell weed shit, he could be hustling or something else. He could have a couple oxys. Could have a couple Percocets. Shit, he might have some white girl on him. So, motherfucker just real hesitant on, like, giving a name to a motherfucker. Like, now, if he, a, like, a regular clientele, you know what I'm saying, client, you know what I'm saying, shit, then he might know my name, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we, didn't, we didn't develop a relationship over that time, you feel what I'm saying? And it be like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it be like that sometimes. Get cool with your, you know, with your clientele. And you throw deals, whatever the case may be saying, but... Like he was saying, shit, I believe I'm on that note that, you know what I'm saying, you don't know every, you know what I'm saying, nigga give you a nickname. That's, that's, that's facts. You never met him? I, I, I would <clears throat> say I met him before. You did? Yeah. 
And that was uh, two guys. He going again with that slick shit. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he might have met him one or two, three times. Shit, if he caught from him one or two or three times. I mean, it ain't like he know him, know him like you gonna know real shit animation. Hey, when you get weed, that shit is, you know, hey, with a bread. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm about my day. You know what I'm saying? Ain't a bunch of extra shit. Now, you do got some niggas that like the bullshit on meeting you or stalling you up. Hey, the weed man, I know, hey, I know y'all all got a weed man that take forever to walk out the house or take forever to come to the door or whatever, whatever the case may be. Maybe he said, nigga tell you, oh yeah, I'll be there five minutes, whole time's an hour. You do got them janky ass weed man, bro. Them niggas, them the niggas that suck at selling weed, suck at working. Them niggas stay the fuck away from them. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, Winston and, and Joshua. Um, I don't know their names. Like they, they give me nicknames. What were their nicknames? Uh, somebody gave me their nickname. It was Hilo. Hilo? Hilo. Hilo. Mm. So mm. you jumped in the front seat, made a deal, and left? Yeah, we headed on up. We smoked our weed up. Hit it on, hit it back to the crib. She got in her car with her friend, closer towards my house. Now that they driving back, you know, they took their hour, they took their drive back. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as mine at first, but it was like close to the same, same deal. You know, the, um, the intervals driving back, just meeting up type deal. So we won't have to drive the whole hour. So y'all took turns driving, you're saying? No, I'm saying. So you trying to play with them right now? But at the same time, we all get what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? He basically saying he didn't take that whole trip out there. You know what I'm saying? They met up halfway, so we split the time in half. So he only probably went 30 minutes. She went 30 minutes out of the way. You feel what I'm saying? They met at a like neutral point. And that's basically all he was trying to say. So, you know, the time and the shit. Like, uh, you know I'm saying like, uh, the meet, the meetups, the spots, the intervals, like going back to Fort Worth was in an hour. You know, like, more like 40 minutes. Well, Arlington police believe you're responsible for two people shot and killed there. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. What do you say about that? Man, I ain't killed nobody. I ain't shot nobody either. And then what about what about Plano? I didn't shoot nobody. I just keep telling them that, you know. The only thing I can say is God got us. God bless those families. God bless mine. God got us though. He's gonna deliver all of us. That's what I thought the last thing was important. Did you go to church yesterday? That's smart shit. You feel what I'm saying? He was just he said a powerful message right there, you know what I'm saying? Like and that's that smart shit I'm talking about. I didn't really like, you know, the whole video throughout. That interviewer just it wasn't professional at all. You see what I'm saying? Like it's almost like he's trying to get him to come out of character. But it didn't it didn't phase him because he know he's fighting for his life. So he's not trying to, you know, put out the wrong image. You feel what I'm saying? Like he definitely composed himself like a young adult. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think a career criminal could have stayed that calm as has you know, as he stayed in that whole interview process, even like early on right now. You know what yesterday was, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't go to church. I didn't, um, I don't know if they had it or not. My mom asked me if I went. I don't know if they had it. I don't know how to get there. Like, you know, I'm a new, new inmate. I can't really, uh, do a lot. But I, I definitely, you know, feel some type of way. Have you ever shot a gun before? Mm -hmm. No? And you say you just smoke weed? Yeah, I smoke weed. I don't do a lot of hard drugs. I don't do nothing. I just work. She and my girlfriend did. Where do you work? I work at um, FedEx. FedEx? That's where I was working. It's a good company. How long have you been there? Not too long. Yeah. I got a good retirement plan. I'm out of here. Good. Um, So take me back. You're in Arlington. You, you met him behind some apartments. Who? These two guys that you bought the weed from. Oh, uh, we um, you want me to take you back? So we we goes to me and my when I pick my girlfriend up, we goes to her plug, and that's her plug, Hilo. And he uh he told me he asked me how much I want. I just want a couple grams. 
got my couple grams and it was done. Like, we don't even have, like, a lot of conversation about it. It's just like, pay you the money and I'm gone. Just like I was saying, it's a simple handoff. You know what I'm saying? It's a halfback toss. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's a dab, dab and go. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a bunch of rapping shit, you know? It's bow, bow. I'm on. I'm on. How much is a plug? He said, how much is a photo? For sure. <laughs> you see that reaction he gave me? Like, what you mean? Like, what the fuck is you saying, bro? How much is a plug? Like, what the fuck? What terminology you on? Shit, I'm trying to find out what is what is a plug? The plug is the weed man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had to explain who the plug was to the nigga, bro. That's funny, though. That's tough. That's tough. Plug is the weed man. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, how much did you buy? Uh, uh, I'm saying? Yeah, that's too much. Um, I originally wanted something bigger, but it wasn't even. So how much was that? What the three grams? How much was it? Yeah, thirty dollars. Yeah. Thirty dollars. That's about right. right. For the whole thing. See, look, he trying. He really. He trying to. You see what I'm saying? He's searching for some shit. You know what I'm saying? Ten dollars a gram. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shit. This was a year ago. Shit. All right, that's not bad. You know what I'm saying? Ten dollars a gram. That's what it go for normally. You still got some fuck niggas trying to charge that shit for twenty. Taxing ass niggas and they know that shit ain't on fire. But ten dollars a gram, you can't really, you can't complain about that. If you're getting a whole gram, not a point seven, you know what I'm saying? You, you can cop that. You get that point seven, that's when you start talking. Oh, okay. I don't know, man. You educated. Um, okay, so your girlfriend jumped in the car with him, or you jumped in the car? How I paid. I paid him. You paid him? Yeah. Okay. He didn't do no mechanics in me. Okay. But you got in his car and y'all y'all did his deal? I mean we wouldn't even, I don't even think we were in his car. I just walked into the window and was like, what's the deal? Like, what's the deal, bro? The game up. Exactly. That's how it normally goes. You know what I'm saying? That's if the nigga in the car would not. Or, you know, depending on how he's serving you, you know what I'm saying? If he stop out the car, you but you know, some niggas like to serve from their car because they feel like it's like a shield, you know. They can prevent them from getting robbed, they got to, they can step on the gas, you know what I'm saying? So if you not, if you hustling, you not unsure sure about your uh, or like unsure sure about a certain area or individual that you meeting up with, then that is a good way to go about it because you have the advantage. You have a motor vehicle as a weapon. At the same time, you can't really do nothing. That nigga got the gun, and he, you know, what I'm saying, walk to the window. You gotta get that shit up. You feel me? I mean, shit, one hundred and twenty dollars. It's not worth your life. You can get that shit back. You feel me? Well, you can pay that shit back. But you can't pay it back if you're not here. You know what I'm saying? So you got to do realize that too. But at the same time, that has nothing to do with the case. But it was just some evidence. I mean, some real nigga shit that you might need to hear. You know what I'm saying? Chop that shit up and take it as an L. You get that shit back. It's only an O. An O is nothing. I'm not even going to lie to you. You smoke an O in a day. That shit ain't nothing. Are we? I was like, I need this little straight. Appreciate it, buddy. And I'll take it out. Okay. That's normally how it goes. We were closer towards my house. We were smoking on the ride, talking about some stuff. You know that we had to come sit about. Okay. And then after we got that over with, we started you know, doing the do. Cause yeah. what? He said doing the do. <laughs> you see how he, he hopped on that quick. You see how? Hey, look at the interview. He on it. Do the what? Me and her hadn't seen each other in a long time, so we, you know, he had to break it down. So nigga, we smashed. You know, just kicking it basically, and so. So what time would this be that y'all bought the, the, the pot in Arlington? You got to really think about that because they trying to map everything. You know what I'm saying? They trying to catch him in a lot. And that's that's basically what they trying to do. They trying to take his time plot and match it with their time slots of how everything happened and match the deaths up in time. So you, you got to really think about what you're saying and like, you know, at the same time, not to say he's guilty or wrong, because, hey, his judges, I mean, the, his day is going to be in court. So at the end of the day, you know, that's just what it's going to be. But I will say, like, this guy, I mean, he, he thought, he, he sat there and thought quick, you know what I'm saying? Like, he he on his shit. Like, he gave a great pres- presentation. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. He on his shit. I can't even talk right now. That's tough. Probably after, probably like seven after seven. I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty early. You get up early every day? Uh, I was, like I said, I, I was actually leaving at the house about 4 or 5. Wow. Because 
I was up early, early, up early every day. I was just making out to the top of her. You know, I'm just trying to go see my girlfriend real quick. On that bullshit again, you see what I'm saying? On that bullshit. And he said he was getting up to see her. So that makes, I mean, if you ain't seen your girl in a little while, yeah, you will. Because, like, what they say in a relationship, shit, you got to, if you, you got to make time. And if that was his available time with, you know, obviously she's in high school or whatever the case may be. And he might have been, like, a year out of school. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that was the time she was available and can get free from her parents, then it, it might have worked for both of them. You get what I'm saying? You did, because some parents be having them, have them on lockup, you feel me? Or they just monitor them real, real well. So it kind of, I mean, it could make sense, you know what I'm saying? It does create that loop, you know what I'm saying? It does create that. Because my mom and dad's birthday this weekend, we were going to go. Um, so you had plans, too? Back to Arkansas and stuff like that, but, you know, as you can see, plans change. Yeah. So you say you don't know Joshua Fompton or Winston Davis? No, by those names. Yeah. What about uh, Quintaris Young? I do know Quinn. That's my, that was my plug too. That's your what? That's my plug too, my weed. Okay. So did you okay. buy anything from him? Yeah, I bought some weed from him too. I threw some of their weed up. <coughs> That's what the corner. Oh, no. Yeah. And then we rolled it all in the back of it. You know, smoked it up. And, um, I mean, I smoke a lot, too, and, uh, shit, I don't know. I don't know if I'm putting three grams in the back of it. I never really did no stupid shit like that. Not to smoke ounces and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? If I'm doing three grams, if I'm doing some shit like that, I'm putting that shit in a bowl. I mean, a bong, not even a bowl. You know what I'm saying? Three grams in a backwood? Like, I mean, maybe, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a fat-ass backwood. Like, I don't know, bruh. Like, I don't know, but I mean, it is possible, you know what I'm saying, and depending on how many people was around and shit, niggas might have been like, let's do it, you know what I'm saying, let's do it, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to fuck, he about to fuck, shit, we, we trying to get fucked up, you feel me, but shit, I would have had that shit spread it out, put a gram in this blunt, put a gram in that blunt, put a gram in this blunt, that's three blunts, let's get lit, you feel me, but I'm back to me from Queen. I would have some weed from Quinn. Well, you know somebody shot and killed Quinn. Yeah, I heard it. Over. And the police say it was you. Yeah, it's over. It's over. What do you say? I didn't shoot nobody. I mean, were y'all good friends? Yeah, it was my dude. Yeah? Yes, sir. It was my dude. You don't seem too upset, man. Somebody murdered your friend. I can't even. I really done crap. Shit, I'm not gonna hold you though. Like, I mean, yeah, he my plug and shit, but shit, I'm fighting for my life. I'm not even fuck. I mean, no disrespect to his family or nothing like that, but fuck Quinn. Like, keep it a buck with you. Fuck Quinn. I'm fighting for my life, son. They trying to put all these bodies on me. I'm not about to be worrying about Quinn. Quinn can't. Quinn is no longer here. He's out of the question. No disrespect to Quinn's family or or none of that. You know what I'm saying? This is just enter entertainment purposes. So, like I said, no disrespect to, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect. I will say that. But at the same time, I'm just speaking if I was in his shoes. Like, fuck Quinn. You feel me? I can't say it like that, but shit. Right now, I'm fighting for my freedom. Quinn, I'm not even worried about Quinn. Don't even bring up his fucking name around me. That shit is the reason why I'm in here right now. The fuck is you talking about? That's how. That's what I'm on. My kids, you You see what I'm saying? He, he handled that, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, what you want me to do? No, that I shit. can't even uh, say nothing. You can tell by, I can see his God, eyes a little bit. You see what I'm saying? God, God. You sound devoutly religious. You sound devoutly religious. Using these big ass words. I know, I've always believed in God. Exactly. <laughs> and then on that I've fuck shit. Why are you talking to him today? They asked me if y'all, you got, if I want to talk to you guys, I said, I don't mind. You know, I'm just here. Do you think you know who killed him if you didn't? No? Mm -hmm. You know, would you tell us if you knew? Hell I yeah. Not on TV, though. Exactly. So if I knew, then they gonna come get you. Exactly. Fuck, fuck shit you want. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a clue. Exactly. Yeah, you're not really about, about that right life. Now. You're not in a street. Yeah. You get a book for a murder. You're not going to give up. Shit. You're a dumbass like nigga. Same right now. Oh, yeah. 
And we just, me and her. Seven grams. What's that? Like, something cold. You got I'm like, home. I mean, you got like I'm a little sleeping. quarter. I was going to run up another block. And the police was at my windows with the uh, big guns and stuff. Damn. That would have been sick. And that's how I, that's, that's ended my life outside. It's back in the air. Fast. I, I, so you're saying you don't remember doing anything, or you think you might have done something, or what do you think? I don't think I'm capable of doing something. Exactly. Let's eliminate that. Um, like, doc. Who can live with that? He did. Like, can you kill somebody? I can't kill nobody. I can't even live with that. It shouldn't hurt your soul. Just better eat you up right. What's that? Better eat you up right. Well, I mean, if people have a conscience, I would imagine it would. Good. That's true. All right. So that's what I'm saying. But is there any, qu- any more questions you got? Definitely. Is there anything you want to say? I mean, I mean, straight up, the cops say they believe you're involved in shooting and killing three people and wounding three others. That's preposterous. It's just crazy to me. It just sounds like all of this is so crazy, so sudden. That is a very, very, very serious talk. No, that is so, so up there. It is, and then you ain't even like, you know what I'm saying, point out the fact, really, nigga ain't really had no record, no priors, and nothing like that, so like, it's very sh- strange for someone to go AWOL like that, you feel what I'm saying? And that's why it's so much conspiracy around the case, you know what I'm saying? That and just the composure and everything he displayed through this whole interview, you feel what I'm saying? Now, we're going to get into some of the parts where I'm still questioning it's just, you know, it, it shake my mama heart. So my, everybody's, everybody's just so shaken up. Yeah. And I know those what were you shaking. planning on doing with your life? I mean, um, I wanted to, you know, sing the rap, whatever. And I also wanted to, you know, just on my own. Do you know, be my own person. I feel it. Be my own man. Be my own man. My brother wanted to be an OPGYN. You know, I was going to be a, um, I was going to be a uh, biomedical engineer, but I decided not to do that. Mm. It wasn't a road I wanted to go down. Okay. Any final thoughts, words? Um, y'all keep your heads up. You know, it's going to come. It's going to come through. God got his career. He's going to deliver all of us. Man. Yeah. That's about it. Okay. You don't know of anybody that would have done this? Mm-hmm. And you know, um, I also want to tell you, don't be fearing the devil, you know. The devil, he can't harm you. God got you. Like, don't be fearing the devil, he got you. Do you fear the devil? Mm-hmm. The devil brushed it off my shoulders. That's my honor. Not at all. All right. Uh, John, do you think of anything? Do um, you have any idea that, you know, it's, everything's pointing to you? Do you, do you think <laughs> that maybe someone tried to set you up? Because That's what they ask me. I mean, there's people that are they're still alive, they got shot. That's what they asked me. They asked me, um, do I think somebody set me up? I don't know. I don't know what happened. What if there were people that saw you come by and shoot uh, for Taras? Yeah. Did nobody see me do nothing like that? I mean, if they see him do all that, what would y'all even be having this interview? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would have been, it would have been, that would have been a big tool. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it would have been, y'all would have showed them. The one thing about evidence is when they got the evidence, they love to show it, you know what I'm saying, to make you sweat and to be like, yeah, we got you, so that you fess on yourself, you feel what I'm saying? So if they're not front and they move, most likely they don't have it, you know what I'm saying? They don't have no weapon. That shit was just a bait. They just trying to get them to throw some shit out and say, oh, we got them, you know what I'm saying? They, they, threw, they threw some bait out there and hoping that, you know, maybe you Fishing, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you fishing, you feel what I'm saying? If you dig that lingo. But they just try to hit him with a bait line right there. He ain't fall for that goofy shit, though. What if there was? What if there were three people that said, we saw you drive by? See, now you're trying to now three. What would you say that? 
I would say uh, exactly. I didn't see him shoot the lead. I didn't see him do nothing like that. Yeah. For real. But that was a crazy scene. I mean, his cars wrecked out and everything. What you mean they had cars wrecked out? Yeah, they had like cars wrecked in four different scenes. Pretty well. Two numbers, Jim. <coughs> Two men wanted. You said, uh, what happened? Mm-hmm. What happened with? Off Alma Drive. You see what I'm saying? Right there, it was like, alright. They tried to, like, really. You see what I'm saying? They, they, they playing a little detective game, too, on them or whatever. But he being real smart, analytical with it too, slowing down, really thinking about what he's saying and really listening to what they're saying. Cause that's how they get people. They don't, you don't listen to what they're saying. And sometimes you just, you speak too much. He's keeping his shit real brief to a minimum and he's listening. Most niggas don't listen when they're under pressure. They think they know all the answers. The key is to listen to what the fuck they say. That's the key. I met up with Quinn and we um he gave me my weed and, and like I said it doesn't even be like it doesn't exactly. even be a long visit. It's just like In and out. Get it and go type deal. In and out. Like, Come on, bro. Yeah. Did, was he was he a maintenance guy there? Too cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh. What was your girlfriend's name? I um, they don't want me to yeah. Who's that? Her basically. Uh-huh. I apologize about that. Now that's that's the only red flag, but I mean I do get it. But at the same time, she she has a lot of answers. You know that could be somebody that's on your side. That's one of your you know witnesses. But then again, you put faith in another person. But like you're not guilty at the same time. Then you should be able to let her ride. I'm 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 giving up her name quick. You know what I'm saying? Especially if we talk and I know I ain't done this shit. Oh yeah, she about to free my name. You feel me? Or this is one person. I, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I, I, that's that right there. And another thing to me, what she's about to say is, like, why did you go to so many different weed man? Like, why didn't you just buy it all from one weed man? I just never understood that. You know what I'm saying? But I do get you can go through it because I didn't did it on a on a summer day. You know what I'm saying? I didn't smoke three grams up shit when I was really smoking like that. You know, shit. We gotta go back. I went to the nigga party three times that day. You feel me? But he was so far away that it could, you know, honestly, in my honest opinion, yeah, he could have copped the weed out there, you know what I'm saying, where he was, and then 30 miles away, because you're not about to drive another whole 30 miles and get a couple grams. I know I'm not, you know what I'm saying? You're just spending more than gas than the actual weed, and that's just 100. So he do got valid points. Now, I just want y'all to get in the comment section, because they're not really going to talk about nothing at the end of this video. It's basically back and forth, you know, speculation and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? This is my first guilty or innocent. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments section. We're having court right now. I'm out.